Hold number one to get us underway. <coughs> but he is a very capable... And as you say, all three of their previous meetings, albeit that O'Sullivan won them, were competitive. Most O'Sullivan prevailing on those occasions, 6-3 and 6-4. So Stephen Hendry pointed out in the build-up to this championship that O'Sullivan is unique insofar as Steve Davis and their pomp had anything like the adulation that O'Sullivan enjoys most of the 80s. Sullivan looking for the thin oh, edge, not miss. finding it. In fact, he hasn't been past the quarterfinals since he was beaten by Mark Selby in the 2000. Doesn't guarantee that you're going to win this one. So many things can go wrong. So many. And you can bet your bottom dollar he'll have been putting in a lot of work. These are all good confidence building shots. Frame seven and eight, but still with much to do this evening on the resumption. Nine. Well, that investment has already paid. 16. 23. I didn't think he would. According to most learned observers of the game, it's the same number of ranking titles, though. A record number of... start from James Cahill here. Oh, but, well. Good position. But that's not a bad recovery, is it? O'Sullivan's consistency the season. Semi-final. For a fronter here to actually take that pot on. Got so much ability. Top 16 players just might be a four and five at a ten shot. When you think he turned pro, well over a quarter of a second. That's a tremendous shot as well. Bank on the black too. Hold for a red, but no, he couldn't. So pot. It looks as though it will. days here at the crucible he played the wrong shot a couple of shots ago which allowed Ronnie to play that shot that he's just played and he did put James in See how big these pockets have played already. Five. His first. Huh. Well, this isn't it from both players. Twelve. Twenty-one. Twenty. But at that pace. They're always going to be tough, and he's... 
is the wrong side. Well, if you're going to miss a shot. Good enough. Cue ball's good, and so is the black. Well played. If he loses it, things could get very tough. First time crucible nerves. Give himself a foothold. We've seen a couple of debutants really struggle this year. I'm now. Oh, what a pop. Where's the cue ball? He's fine. Of course, the target is 10. The winner to play, Stephen Maguire, after his extraordinary. Wins over Ding and Mark Selby, both at the UK Championship. So that's the potential of the in off there, but he comes out of his hands, the keyboard's too near to the bulk. Maria, Hendry's ex-wife's man, his sister. Even. But she runs in Preston. I was a practice with James Cahill when I lived in Southport a few years ago. On screen. Nine. This man's made three of them at the Crucible. Uh, Seventeen for the high break he's enjoying that pink of course so the highest available 24 yes suffer crisis of confidence now and again the same sort of spells 32 at times he's struggled to accept anything up Hendry the UK 38 I remember him being whitewashed eight but sports psychiatrist Steve Peters has made tremendous but he can always give his very best his form in recent seasons. He has interests outside of snooker, and that means that when he does come back to the game... 51. Summer. Just because he's lost one frame doesn't mean he's going to lose the match, of course. Well, they're finding in the last two or three seasons is as good as it's ever been in recent times. 80. A champion to do. 26. He's earned over £900,000. First player to achieve that. 34. First Cahill was never under any illusions about the size of his task. <laughs> Sullivan was asked about dealing with pressure. He feels as though he needs the pressure in order to be able to play at his best. It's the will to win, the desire to win, that creates the pressure. I mean, you could have a... He's going to have another go, I think. Oh. Two. Well, that's going to be the pink, I think. Ooh, or not, maybe not. Foul, oh. and a miss.
Preston. The offices were broken into where his cue was being kept for safety. Apparently it was sad to know. Too thick. Oh, and he. New players. He's very good on the mental side of the game. There, of course. Yep. Frank was from Blackpool, is and Fisher, the multiple ladies world champion who now lives in Blackpool. Cued it very well. Frank he looks Fisher. sharp. Thirty one. Sullivan, thirty one. Well, that's tremendous queuing. Few action. Yes, and only a ripple of applause. That's a bit unfair. James Gay. Sullivan knew straight away that that was in long before. Theoretical 69 points to get over the line. That assumes Nine. blacks. That. Ooh, he's just done it though. And he should finish nice on the pink here. Seven. Oh, that one went. I thought he was actually trying to cut the other one back, but it was next to the keeper. Into the Yes, and been remotely phased by losing the opening frame on the black. Thirty-eight. Forty-five. Fifty-three. Just everything looks so dating sometimes when he's on a roll like this loss in the final of the Masters to Judd Trump but of course 61. in winning the Players Championship and the Tour Championship 68 for the quarterfinals this year Trump to get underway against Tepchire and New in his first round their first session is tomorrow afternoon circuit Trump not far behind in the form of his life in Ominously good. The previous three, as we've mentioned, were competitive. O'Sullivan did win them all. <laughs> Season, which of course, World Snooker have been recording during this campaign. Sees Tepchire and New. Well, it's some good long balls already, Kate. It's a bit of pace. Has done. But he's overrun. James Cahill. <coughs> oh no, always wide. James Cahill. Well, at least he didn't leave anything. And that one was some way off as well. So just one or two errors. One. Eight. The four is excellent. Twelve. Unplayable. It's got to hurt, isn't it? But that's the cruelty of snooker that. We had no way of getting onto a colour from it, so had no choice in the end but to play a safety. When you're Sullivan.
Yeah, he's missed a couple, hasn't he, by quite a... Almost giving him too much respect. Sullivan's pop percentage success going up. Cahill's go Missed it. Now, Jay. Wow. Yes, it is. So the Reds are in. Ooh, Reds are in. Yes, here's a good move. Remove the Eight. chance now for James. Gratefully accepted that. 60. Objectory. Still only 23 years of age. Olivia Martil keeping an 32. eagle eye. We saw Mark Selby penalised earlier today for just catching a ball. At the top, first round of the UK, but somewhat less so. Sullivan has looked very sharp. 56. No sentry on. 64. Tom alluded to earlier to be intimidated by O'Sullivan and the way he plays. He's paid his dues in qualifying. He's earned 71. the right to take a... Okay, Blue doesn't seven. matter. A frame-winning break. Sullivan to get us back underway. Steve Maguire, of course, awaiting the winner. No. Yes, that break off shot. So you've got to walk off for 15 or 20 minutes or so and then try and fight to level up black good snooker james cahill here he's avoided the cannon on the black it's blue after he needed a snooker to stay in the match when he was nine seven down as oh, crazy Oh, that's a good hit. That's a really good hit. We'll learn that shot from. Originally, anyway. The two cushion escape, yeah. He pioneered it. Hardly ever hit it half ball, thus losing the cue ball. He was a past master at it. Very nearly fluked the red, but now it stayed up. It could be trouble, although. People doesn't travel so far. Oh, that's one way he breaks the pack of reds open from the rough. Would you believe he's missed the pick? High praise. Wow. Point he makes is apt that the next challenge for Trump, the your potting, your break building, it's so much more than Eight. that. A lot of it. You need to accept though here during the course of the 17 days that you're going to have a bad session. And that's why I, I think all the all round because I know he didn't do well in China, lost his first match six five. That will have dented his confidence a little, maybe, but I think Judd now is much more of an all-round. Well, if he is to do it, he's going to have to do it the hard way. He's champion Selby in the semis, even though Selby's adrift at the moment. So many great players in that bottom half of the draw in particular. But James Cahill... Sure.
top cushion. Well, he's chose to screw into them. 35. <laughs> he looks. on O'Sullivan. He's expected to win and win handsomely. Cut the odds pretty much straight away. Five times. Well. No, he's a... Little out of sorts at the moment, Ronnie, but that can change in a flash if you give him. Oh, Centre. Just short of pace, but still a good safety. That's why James Cahill's trying to leave the cue ball in the jaws of this corner pocket, but it, is it going in? Oh, that could be costly. Ronnie, I'll Most of them have been going in. That one. Once again off the jaw. He's been out with his timing. That's all that, that happens with. 15. <laughs> 22. Brown, depending on the value of the colours that he takes with. 29. every time he plays in a tournament these days, Ronnie. 36. From one horologist, the watch that Steve Davis wore when he won his first world title 44. against Doug Mount. So he won his last three world titles ah. wearing. Yeah, an Ebel Classic Sport Wave. <laughs> well, that was frame ball. Would see Mark Selby. Or John Higgins do. Three. James Cahill. Three. Needs a bit of luck, and I don't think he's going to get it. <laughs> Can you turn that Again. Off, everybody at the moment. What's going on there? over Mark Davis as the alarm continues to go off. Threat of <laughs> evacuation, but also because it's very off-putting. <laughs> anyway, it's stopped now. And trying to knock the cover off the ball on a couple of occasions. Quiet down, please. Missing Fink and Black remaining. to do. Just feel as though O'Sullivan has lost some of his focus. Oh, this is a good effort. This is a great effort. Snooker. <laughs> Makes it that much harder for the player to hit. Well, wow. that definitely Real Sullivan five. ends Frame. the and O'Sullivan having initially misframed ball green, having tried to power it in for... And they come back tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock down. At one stage, they were dragged off a frame early. That's an excellent opening red. I'll say the blue because he needs to go into the pack of reds now. And the blue is the ideal ball. No. 
to. They stand up for the blue. You can And that really does free the black up. Twenty-six. Sure. Because this is a much easier red. Played it left-handed as well. Thirty-eight. There you go, that one just got away. Yeah, there's no doubt that O'Sullivan... Come on. ...is further to 87%. Yes, yeah, so at one time it was ended up losing it. The thing about O'Sullivan and... And he's been let back eight pace. An expected chance he was given. Seven. And Ronnie's going to need it. Fifteen. Centre pocket. Let's just see what shot he decides to play. Ah, that's a clever idea. Knock the brown out now. 45. Terrific pot from O'Sullivan. Third 54. half century. The brown here. Try to. Oh, I didn't quite Daniel get Sullivan. the purchase on. <laughs> the only problem is, if you had to roll up to the green in a certain fashion, you could leave Ronnie an easy snooker, oh, but he's missed it anyway. Is. Okay, he's decided to pot the green. Well, wow. oh. that's a good. And the amateur has repeated, has just begun to take one or two more, if not reckless shots, then perhaps eyebrow raising one. Doesn't seem quite as dialed in, O'Sullivan. I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know what's going through his mind really. He's almost treating James Cahill with disdain. You never know these days, probably somebody's mobile the chance to put the cue ball where he wants, close to Bork. Oh, and a miss. Nine. Pace. Get his total concentration back, which 17. seems to have just... I know 
has lost them all, but by six, three, six, four, and five. Yes, and it bears repeating that he beat Selby in the UK this season, so. Nope. So O'Sullivan continues to chance to really stay in contention for the second half of this match tomorrow morning. Chance here, James Cahill. times but Cahill is taking it like the proverbial 26. duck to 34 yeah and he is half my age <laughs> well almost everyone's half your age <laughs> don't but you sort of the average sort of age for a professional 42. I guess that's age though rather than as a sportsman Still haven't had that sort of idealism. Tough school initially, but now he's playing purely for enjoyment, and it. Don't cannon the yellow. He's avoided it, and the pace. It's a bit early to talk about upset, isn't it? Favourite and greatest of all time in the first round at the Crucible. There's the ignominy of being beaten by an amateur. Very handsomely. First sight, a deep swerve, and he overcooked it, and he's paid the price. O'Sullivan Green, which was hanging over the left centre pocket, allowing O'Sullivan to steal on the black. Wow. Yes, I hope that frame doesn't cost James this next one, too, for the disappointment that he... in the first half of this session. It's not been slow by any means, has it? Seven. That is significantly quicker than his average shot time, 0 0.03 seconds. Today he's at 15. Foul. Pocket. Maybe leave an angle to go into the pack of reds with, but wow, he's... The interval, at one stage he was at 95% pot success. He's now below 90. One. Well. <laughs> didn't it, but it's definitely possible. Nine. It's the right of the cue ball. No. The green. And Cahill needed a snooker. It didn't cost him because he went on to pot the brown, but stray. I don't think he's going to change his style of play, nor is that.
instant without too much forethought. There's a good deal of focus that went into that shot. Now, the way the reds are positioned, well, would you believe it? Well, I can't explain this. It's the previous frame. One. In. Obviously, he's still very much in with a shout. Six three down Nine. would be tough. Too straight. Had to play the more difficult black cube. Almost as though he didn't really want to play the right shots, but he did there. Seven and when you say quit, the confidence and the belief to play it properly. And then, yes, sometimes you can decelerate. Twenty three. Obviously, so in just such a disappointing fashion. 31. Just one more frame after this to be played today. If failing to win the previous one after O'Sullivan needed a snooker, got a bit lucky and for his opponent to mop up, to steal it on the black. So has helped him to do that, or try to do it. Four. Down the pink spot area. Didn't fancy playing at his side. Oh no! That is a shocker. To lose the previous frame in the circumstances in which he did would have been disappointing. Oh. This is the thing to win this as well. And it didn't work out for him. He was outplayed by Ali Carter. Having a great season doesn't let him come to the crucible and thrive, so. Pressure to make amends in that direction. Oh, he's missed the red. Yeah, the errors are really beginning to creep. Definitely, I mean, James again there, probably just saw the winning line too soon. Just knew that red, blue, and one more. Not where it would normally be. 14. You're kidding me. Well, I thought it would still go in. One. What a bizarre fr Answers, many of them. Nine. He might well have been punished. Bayhill has acquitted himself very well in the main on his debut. So the only question now to be answered in this session, who is going to lead overnight? The final frame coming up. Session here at the Crucible, the atmosphere is altogether different. It's even more intimate. But again, the finals and a semi, breaking records all over the shop. to clear up. Well, that's a pretty alarming drop if you're a Ronnie O'Sullivan fan as regards pot success percentage from the midnight. I think they're only delaying the inevitable here. known to the players, assuming that they don't agree between themselves to word I'd use to describe his snooker since the break. Yeah, that will certainly put pay to any re-rack. Done so well here this time. Seven. And if you can enjoy it, the chances are you're going to play well, which he had. A bit of pace. Oh, well played. 
James Cahill, 25. Well, that's one way of playing safe. But hang on. Foul. Can he knock it in? Oh, it's a good effort. Has he got a... Oh, he has. Oh, he has. Amazing, isn't it? I saw around in the second half of this session. Nine. Seventeen. Just when things. to focus just for a few more minutes Four. pandemonium they get underway tomorrow former world champions That's a terrific pot. It really is. If you can. Yeah. You, you can't help but try and pot them off the top jaw and run. Mark Selby at the UK Championship. You, when you're not even a pro. Build this afternoon's work. He's played very, very well. Thoroughly deserved his lead. What a turn up for the books. Ronnie O'Sullivan.